What's up everyone? I am here in Honolulu and I just went on a bit of a shopping spree at Chrome Hearts yesterday and snagged a couple of pretty awesome items. So we're gonna do an unboxing on assignment at Waikiki while I'm on vacation so that I can basically pack these away for travel back home. First up, you might be able to guess, but we got actually pretty lucky with these. We managed to get two Chrome Hearts Honolulu hats. And as usual, they've got the very awesome silver hardware on top. Oh man, it's very windy. I'm nervous. I'm nervous the camera's gonna blow away. I gotta be careful here. I've lost the hat that I brought multiple times just walking around. So I do not want these to blow away. I'm on the 21st story here. And if I lose this hat, I will be very, very sad. But let's have a quick look at what it looks like on head. Oh, that's interesting. It fits a little tighter than my Hollywood hat. But man, that looks good. The Hollywood Chrome Hearts hat that I have has served me incredibly well. This one is clean and it's nice to have a nice fresh black hat again because the Hollywood hat that I have has gotten pretty tattered. I got comments from people saying, is that, is that that $500 Chrome Hearts hat? And I was like, yeah, but I didn't pay 500 for it. And they said, dang, but you pretty well wrecked it, didn't you? And then I looked at it and I realized that I had pretty well wrecked it. So the guy was like, oh, if I had that hat, I'd only wear it at night. And I think that's gonna be my plan for this hat. To keep it clean, I'm only gonna wear it at night. And I will continue to wear my Hollywood hat during the day and give it that nice weathered look so that I've got options with respect to how I want to look wearing this hat going out. Oh my gosh, everything's blowing away. This is scary, this is scary. All right, hold on here. All right, I put the hats back in the room because I do not want them blowing away on me. I'm having enough trouble keeping the camera from blowing away on me, which would also be a problem. But next up, this one's fun. If it comes in a small bag, you know what it is. It is the reason to buy Chrome Hearts. It is the jewelry. And I got what I think is a pretty cool piece. So we got the jewelry bag that says Chrome Hearts. Let's see if we can show that. I don't know if you can see it that well, but I basically told the sales associate, who was Caitlin, who is actually fantastic by the way, and uh, the reason I don't have any in-store footage is because they've asked not to take any photos in the store and as someone who wants to respect their wishes and also continue to remain a client, I am not going to be posting any photos or video in store. But I told her, I really like the paper chain that I've got, and I would like a bracelet equivalent, but the paper chain feels a little too dainty as a bracelet. And she said, they just came out with this. It's a new product. They made it, and then they reworked it because there were some issues with it coming off of the hand. And then they redesigned it and now it's out again with a better closure mechanism. And this thing is pretty sweet. So it's like a paper chain, but it's much more solid. It 
It says CHCH on each one of the links. They go big to small. And then the closure mechanism is super cool. You can see it right there. The way that this works is you gotta swing this like that and then through. And it actually says chrome hearts on it. Man, it's gonna be tricky. I'm gonna have to do some close-up shots later so you can see the detail on this. But on the wrist, it's actually super hard to put on one-handed, which means it's gonna be difficult for it to come off. There we go, I got it. Kind of see how it latches, maybe. But on wrist, that's what it looks like. Pretty shiny, not as weathered as the paper chain looks but they said it'll weather over time. I'm sure that it will. And that just looks way more substantial than the paper chain would if I were to put the paper chain on wrist. So I really like this quite a bit. It looks better resting, but my hand's too high. Um, let's see if I can do this. Angle it down a little bit. Anyway, this was about 1,080 and tax is half the rate in Hawaii than it is in California, four point something percent. So a little bit of sticker shock for a bracelet, I mean 1,100-ish dollars, but for chrome hearts, that's not bad. And I, again, would much rather have the jewelry than let's say a hoodie in the $850 range. Overall, the Honolulu store was amazing as usual. The architecture, the furniture, the display, every last detail accounted for, the hinges on the doors, the hangers. It's just something to really behold if you are OCD and you have a appreciation for the finer details. We did see that it was appointment only and so my wife actually made the appointment same day, maybe around three in the afternoon to show up at six. Somebody tried to show up at six as a walk-in and they told them that they could get in at 6.30 and they damn near threw a hissy fit. So there's a lot of bad reviews about this store from people who basically can't even get in. But really, if you're going to Chrome Hearts and you know what Chrome Hearts is and you're willing and able to make the appointment early, they are very accommodating. Their store is great. They had a lot of inventory. As shopping experiences go, Chrome Hearts is up there and then you get to leave with amazing pieces like this, what's not to love? So that's that, really happy. We actually managed to get some hats. Those are very hard. Absolutely love this bracelet to add to my collection. That's the best part. My wife was looking for a ring. You know, she didn't find one in her size, but really Chrome Hearts has so much stuff that you can build a collection that tailors to what you like and what you're interested in. You don't just need to buy whatever they have or whatever the cool hype pieces are. Really, it's individualized, it's bespoke, it's about finding products that mesh with your own personality and character. That's all I've got. I still got six days left here in Honolulu 
and I am on vacation, so I will see you later.